Today's mission, my friends, is a simple one. I aim to go to the police station and get a lot of guns, hopefully to clear out the prison, because uh, it seemed like it was a place that I could veritably do an assault on, but it might be hard to bring all of the zombies in without getting the place completely overrun. The place is densely packed with soldiers, and I might need to use my stealth and just shoot them one by one once we get in there, because I don't know how I'm actually going to get a lot of uh, zombies in there, so I did do a quick run before this off-camera uh, to clear out a bit of the police station, just make sure that the coast was clear. So the zombies just kept stacking up, so what I'm going to have to do for tonight is to just get some rest, and fortunately the fire station has actually afforded me some. There's almost no places in Hardcore six months later where you can just kind of take a breather, uh, so this has been a, an unusual luxury. And it's fairly clean in here too, besides one or two blood stains all over the walls. Um, I've got another NPC keeping me safe. Fireman downstairs. Should, I mean, he's he's ready to go, <laughs> if you could see. Um, I do want to completely close everything off, though, before I get into this. The downstairs is pretty much shot, but I'll leave him down there by the staircase to hopefully defend me if anything goes wrong. Uh, and I do just want to make sure that all the zombies up here are dead, because sometimes the NPCs... We'll spend days around a floor with zombies around them, and they just, they never really seem to engage one another. So I'm going to head over here. And I th actually think that this back room would be the best place to sleep. No blood stains. It, honestly, it looks, it looks like civilization is happening in here. Whatever that means. So I'm going to go to bed, and then when I get up, I'm going to hit the police station. After that, I was hoping to find a cop car without a siren. Uh, blaring, or er, with a siren. Oh man, I'm getting cold. I don't even have a watch yet, I gotta keep an eye on that. Stupid that you can't use in-game clocks. Or can you? I don't know that. Possibly you can. Um, I gotta stay warm. It's gonna be freezing all night. I hadn't anticipated the night. Well, there's a few in the police station. I could go over there and take them out because... Hey, I mean, for one thing, it'll warm me up. Or I could get back in my car, turn on the headlights, and then try to loot it that way. I think I'd also better remove some of the broken glass from these windows. And it's snowing, too. Snowing, or raining, or sleeting, or whatever. That's getting even worse. Actually, I'd better just head back into my car. I think I'm gonna get in my car, turn on the heat. Which seems to be the best way to spend the winter. And you do slow down when you are, uh, when you're freezing, so that's also affecting me. Let's get back in the car, I'll warm up quick. And then, uh, turn on the heater. Okay, great. So I'm just gonna take the car real slow. I know that there was another survivor who was shooting. I don't know whether they're friendly or hostile, because I don't get PvP disabled anymore now. Uh, or not disabled. So it's possible that that person died or got mauled by zombies, which kind of gives me hope for the soldiers, because the soldiers really do take out, I'd say, about 50 zombies before they really get threatened. I want to make sure I don't attract any from that horde. Uh oh um, I know that the weapon rack is over on the back side here, so I'm going to park the car over on this end. I'm still freezing, though. I think I'd better just pass a little bit of time in the car. If I get out of the car, though, I'm going to be really, really cold. I think I'll get back here so that I don't get bothered by any zombies. Because it's a good fence over here. So I should be relatively safe for a little while. Until their basic cognition gets them out, anyway. So I'm freezing. Actually, you can't speed up time with the engine on. It's kind of strange. Okay, so they are actually being led over to me. Well, that's not great. There are a bunch- oh, man. Basic cognition shouldn't do this to a man. Okay, uh... You know what? I'm gonna head over here. I The last thing that I want to do is make this police station unassailable. Because... It's just a couple guns from the, wec from the weapon rack I need. I might have to do it all on foot. Might have to do it all on foot. Oh wow, the parking lot is filling up again fast. 
I don't know if it's respawn or what, but they just seem to get worse. Oh my gosh! Wow! You saw that, that was only in like three seconds. Man, when I get to prison, I'm gonna be like in a quarantine. You know, while I'm warming up, I think what I'll do is just check out the prison and see if it's got any progress. My headlights aren't even working anymore. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. All right, let's head back to prison, see if the soldiers are there, and then when I come back, I'll maybe I'll see if I can do anything to the uh, police station. I'm hoping that they took out the front guard. If they didn't, I'm going to be in a bit of a situation. I mean, I could always come up from the other side, though there's another guard who stays in the guardhouse, I know. Let's head over. It's really awful weather. Man, sounds like he's still there. It's like... Besides the fire department... Wow, and we are getting game lag. Okay, so he's come out a little bit. And he's actually left the main entrance. This might not be a bad time to scout. No, go to him, not me. Go to him. Go to him. Ah, oh, dang, man. I gotta, I gotta just get away from this whole situation. Now, if you completely go off screen, I'm pretty sure that the whole scenario doesn't advance. I think that all the zombies and the soldier are just saved in memory as they stand. Not positive about that, but at least the soldiers left the front entrance. He seems to be going back there pretty quickly, though. Uh, let's attract them all to him. Come on, come on. There we go. The gunshot's worse than the car. Let's see how long he can take them for. Get away, get away. If he gets one shot on me, I'm dead. Man, he keeps, he keeps running over this way. He's good, though. He's skilled at defending the entrance. It seems like he's better with a gun even than the friendly NPCs. I don't know if it has to do with his training. Probably his shooting is leveled up beyond what uh, the normal ones have. Yeah, he keeps running very well. And I can't maul him with the car because the NPCs don't actually respond to that. I gotta, I gotta drive quietly. I don't see why so many are attracted to my car, though. It's a gun over there. He never runs out of ammo, either. Sounds like there's more going on in the base itself. Maybe I've... Oh, you know what I've probably done is I've probably riled up zombies inside of the prison, too. Because I don't think that they actually clear out the prison. So they're probably doing a little bit of my work for me at this rate. That's the fortunate side. What I could do would be to run back into the woods. To have him... That's getting quiet. No, but the thing is that if he were actually getting mauled, it would be completely quiet. Or I would see him put up a struggle and then do it. Great, okay, so they're getting closer to him. Just a couple that are coming this way. That's all right, though. And it looks like we're actually seeing some from outside of the prison guard room window. So I think that that's the second guard in there. I'm going to see if I can get eyes on him. Now, wow. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, too close, too close. Too close for comfort. Wow, that's incredible that they can take out that many. I might actually have to... To have that horde tail me all the way here if I want to if I want to attack this prison I could do that just have like a thousand zombies follow me to the prison because those guys are tough guards I think I might have to fortunately I've got a little bit of time to think this over and test out a couple different methods it'd be a long way I'd have to bring them all the way through these fields but I think it would be worth it in the meantime I do want to be able to defend myself in the event of uh of the unhappenable happening. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is now try to kill two birds with one stone. It had been suggested in the comments that I take uh, the fire department as sort of a secondary backup base 
or use it as a, eh, use it as a staging point for survivors. I think that's a good idea, but seeing as the uh, zombie respawn is as it is in this video, I think I think it would be a lot of effort and possibly even more difficult than the prison now at this rate. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is just um, first off, I'm going to park this car somewhere secluded, like here. I don't really know if anywhere is secluded anymore, if anywhere qualifies as that. I'm going to have to filter them all out from there. In fact... Oh, I'm going to have to change that bandage too. I'm not bleeding anymore. I'm going to bring them all over to the prison now, I think, because... I had been thinking of... I had been thinking of doing it with, uh... Um, guns, but I, I don't even know if that's going to be feasible anymore. Feasible anymore? There's just too many zombies. I have to filter them over. All right, so I'll meet you at the prison. I'm going to Daryl Dixon this. All right, we finally got all the zombies back to the prison. So I'm going to see how this train uh, unfolded. It seems like all the fastest ones have stayed at the front and the slower shamblers have actually moved to the back. I didn't know that Zomboid had, or I had suspected, but this is more proof to me that Zomboid has various speed uh, shamblers. So I'm going to keep reactivating my horn. It seems like they respond to it if I just take a hand off it for a little while. Now let's see how the soldiers do with these guys, because they'll get the fastest ones in the front. Obviously I'm going to have to drive around though, because I don't want them to be attract attracted to me, I just want to be attracted in the general direction. So I'm going to go drive over to the side of this building, and then we'll see how the soldiers do with that. I hope that they split off. And I'll just honk my horn in this corner. Please soldiers start shooting, if they don't, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a bit boned. I'm a bit boned, but I could just drive over to the other side, because now we've got them all on the front entrance. They're not going to be going in at the speed that I wanted them to, but it looks like I got a good-sized horde on me, and they spread out enough. Okay, i got to have them all come in on one wave if I can. Maybe I could start to take over bits and pieces of the prison, too. I don't see the soldiers, but they move pretty fast, too. Okay. All right, well, it seems like we've taken out the main gate, though there's a lot of other soldiers inside of the prison on the other parts. I want to see if I can bring this train of zombies over there, too, or in some way, you know, rile them up. I know that there's a bunch of old other soldiers patrolling the grounds as well, but a lot of them are inside the cell blocks. and It might be difficult or unwieldy to bring all the zombies in there. So I'm going to see what I can do here. Sounds like I've got rid of those soldiers. Now the very last thing that I can do, and I just want to see if this cop car will hold up, is get into this cop car, because this is what I really wanted. And I could set off this thing's siren. I'd better be careful, though. Um, oh, great. Okay, so it's got some rounds as well. And it looks like there are a few more soldiers left to take out. Good. They're, now they're doing all my work for me at this point. All right, well, it looks like this car has got nothing, but let's see if I can set off the siren. Um, nope. Uh, all right, I'm going to do that, and I'm out of here. This will keep attracting zombies to the prison for a while, so it should get safer progressively from here. And if I can get it to the point where it's just zombies and no people in the prison, I'll be much better off. 
but that's going to solve my problem for a long time. So we'll see what we can do there. I'm going to come back here in a day or two once things have gotten a little bit better uh, sorted out. Once I've got myself armed up and gotten a few more NPC survivors here to the prison. And then after that, uh, we'll try to take it over and that'll be a new base for us. Hopefully, though, I won't have attracted too many zombies. I might have to do the same thing with cars to get them out of there. But, I don't know, kind of different. I've never seen a Zomboid video like this, so I think it just goes to show the possibilities of what can be done with this game. Um, so let's head back to the police station to see if there are any guns. It feels kind of weird to, to do this after that. I felt like that was such a big uh, cathartic moment, but <laughs> oh well. I mean, my real objective is just to get into the prison and then make a life there because it's so hostile out here. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, this stuff, I'm, I'll put this stuff on the seat next to me. A lot of it's really good items. This is some of the best loot I've I've gotten. I mean, granted that it's that it's six uh, that it's hardcore six months later. I've never had loot like this in this game mode before. So let's see what we can do. Get my two axes out of there too. And fortunately, I mean, there's bullets in the cop cars too. So it seems like that the prison is pretty well stocked. I even found a, a uh, an axe on somebody in the police station, so it's possible that there's more like civil service workers around here, and they might actually have what we're looking for. Um, shoot. Oh, wait, no, I forgot to turn it off. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Um, it sounds like that that NPC survivor is still here. It sounds like that was kind of a blessing in disguise because it's been attracting them away from the fire department. Though I'm scared if he came into the fire department because it looks like the door's down and everything else is pretty awful in there. If I could only find a sledgehammer, that would have made my life a lot easier. Because then I could have taken down stairs and stuff too. Let's head over. Okay, I gotta just unpack the entire armory. This is gonna be a loot all super quick. But if I get cornered in here, I'm uh, I'm boned. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of, uh, I'm not going to understand all of this completely very easily because I don't play ORGM most of the time. Tactical walkie-talkie, not actually going to be any use to me, unfortunately. Whoa, okay, we got some good, we got some good pickups here. Nice and assault rifle. That is very welcome. And we got some more Winchester rounds. Okay, and it looks like we got a, just a little bit more. This is going to weigh me down a lot. Okay, I got some more magazines. Great. Okay, so I'm going to be... Oh, I'm not completely slowed down. Well, thank Jesus. Uh-oh. I hope it's just you and not a bunch. All right, I'm good. Made short work of that one. And now let's get out of here. I'm not coming back to this police station for a long time. I hope. Oh no, I gotta I gotta round him up. I gotta round him up. Uh Yes! I made it! I'm safe. I did everything that I wanted to, <laughs> finally. Alright, so I think life is now Life is gonna be good. We just have to get the prison. And then we'll uh we'll be safe. More or less. I just hope that this fire department is safe. Alright, leave it on a cliffhanger, why not? I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh could I have done anything differently? And any ideas for taking out all the soldiers, because... Uh-oh. I don't see Fireman Dan. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.